today I recreated seven obstacles from American Ninja Warrior season 15 uh, that I got to try on the show and I'm just gonna be going through and trying them all. Some of these obstacles are really easy, some of them are really difficult, so anything can happen. Before we start though, I do want to say thank you all so much for those who have been supporting me over the past four years with this YouTube channel. 500 subscribers is no easy feat, so I wanted to thank you all who have been supporting me from day one all the way up to now. Um, so thank you all so much for your support, and it really does inspire me to continue making videos for you all. So um, stay tuned for some awesome content in the future. Now let's get started with our first obstacle recreation. Starting with the first obstacle recreation today, we have the Three Ring Circus. No doubt the uh, scariest obstacle on the show this past season. Uh, it was about 30 feet in the air. You had to do a giant ring swing up to a reverse grab UFO and then slide the ring down the slider. It was so scary because it was so high up. Um, but my recreation isn't as scary. Um, however, it still is pretty difficult. So let's give it a try. The next obstacle we'll be recreating today is the lasso launch from qualifiers of season 15. Now I do have a love-hate relationship with this obstacle because I fell on it in qualifying. So um, we'll see what happens here. Um, I've gotten so much better at the rope um, since then. It was about a year ago that I competed. So uh, anything can happen here, but this obstacle that I recreated in my backyard is so much more difficult than the one on the show because I actually didn't have enough hooks to set up this obstacle, so I had to use cannonballs instead. So we'll see what happens here on the lasso launch. Now that we've completed Lasso Launch, the next obstacle that I'm going to be recreating today is called the Hopscotch. This obstacle was from the semifinals of American Ninja Warrior on my race against James the Beast McGrath. Red Bomb is keeping it close, and believe me, McGrath is aware. One move away, completing another obstacle. It ain't over till it's over. When you got Ninja versus Ninja here, it ain't ever over. The Red Bomb a little twisted. All right, here we go. Now they're tied up. They're even up. He's got to go. This obstacle is much more difficult in my backyard because the ledges are actually much thinner than on the show, and um, they also don't have a lip. So it's going to be much more difficult to hang on to lache to. I've actually shortened the obstacle a little bit just because it was way too difficult um, uh, before. So let's just see how it's done. So the final obstacle that I'm going to be recreating today in my backyard is not currently set up right now. So while I'm setting that up, we're going to take a trip to the gym that I train at called Windsor Ninja Academy. And we're going to be uh, recreating some balance obstacles there from the show. So let's get on over to the gym and try those out.
We're back in the backyard getting ready to attempt the final obstacle I've recreated today called the getaway. This obstacle is one of my favorites on American Ninja Warrior that I got to try in the qualifying round. Uh, so we'll see how it's done. Real quick before we move on to the next obstacle recreation, if you're liking the video so far, please do consider hitting the like and subscribe button. It really does help that channel out tremendously. Um, so if you're liking the content that you're seeing, make sure to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, more epic content on the way later in the video. Now that all the obstacle recreations are done, it is now time to do the final challenge that I promised at the beginning of the video. This is going to be involve the ice pick. If you've never seen the ice pick before, it is basically like a shortened cane, kind of like what you saw on stage one's final obstacle, Thread the Needle, this past season on American Ninja Warrior. I'll be taking this cane through a couple of bars, um, a couple of rings, and eventually a very small precision ring that I'll have to fit it into at the end. So let's see if I can do it. Now that I completed the obstacle with the ice pick, it's now time to amp it up a little bit. These are the bolt cutters. This obstacle is super, super difficult, super challenging, but super fun. Basically what I'll have to do is open and close this obstacle whenever I make a move. And this is gonna be super challenging going across the same line that I just did with the ice pick, but I think I can do it, uh, so let's see if I can do it. All right, guys, I'm going to have to call it with the bolt cutters. Uh, if you didn't know, today is Monday, and that means the eclipse is coming around. And it's that about that time that it's getting really, really bright. So sun's getting in my eyes right now. I'm really tired, and it's really bright out, so I can't really see where I'm putting these things. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to call it for today. If you want me to continue this challenge in the future, in a future video, um, I'll definitely try to do so, but for today, for now, I'm gonna have to call it. And there you have it, the 500 subscribers special is done. I had so much fun making this video for you guys, um, and I really love your ideas, so make sure to comment those ideas down for videos, shorts, and everything else in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, 
Uh, make sure to like, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. It means a lot to me and helps the channel out a lot. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See you all in the next one.